Philip is also extremely well liked. And again, you know, Phil is being himself on TV, but he is amping it way up. So he's almost being a character. I mean, both of them are kind of being caricatures of themselves right. when they're at the table being Phil. And the best example of that for Phil Helma came quite a few years ago now, probably seven years ago or more. A friend came up to me and he said, oh, you know, the funniest thing, you know, a friend of his had knocked Phil Helma out of the tournament the day before. You know, and it was like, you know, middle of day one of like a 1500 million, not a huge, you know, amongst all the bracelet events, no big deal. And it was something relatively simple, like it folded the Phil, who was short stack, shoved from the button, if I'm getting the story correctly, you know, if not, maybe he shoved from a small blind, but everyone else had folded. Phil now shoves, but he only has like five big blinds. And this young guy calls from the big blind with King Queen. And... You know, like, as far as the math is concerned, it's just that it's an obvious snap call. And and to be honest, even if you know that Phil would very seldom shove with a worse hand, so many of his hands were exactly what he had. He had, like, A7. And it's like, well, I'm getting the right price. And even if Phil shows me A7 before I make my decision, I can call because I'm, like, putting in four more blinds. It's a standard play. I win, like, seven, you know, because it's, like, his five plus my one plus the ante. It's like you're almost getting two to one, and you're only, like, a 60-40 underdog. So it's, it's, a, it's a snap call if Phil shows you his hand. And, and Phil understood that, you know, the call was correct, and then the kid paired one of his cards and knocked Phil out of the tournament, and Phil's just saying, okay, I guess it wasn't meant for me today. You know, you all have fun, blah, blah, blah. And he stands up to leave the table. And now as he stands up, Phil notices, like, oh, it turns out that even though this was not an event that was being filmed by ESPN, they had a camera crew in the Amazon room that day just filming, like, B-roll footage and stuff. And when they saw Phil stand up, they were like, oh, Phil just got knocked out of this event. Let's go run over and film it. Right. So now Phil, like, saw them coming over because he saw that they had seen him. But continuing to walk away from the table, he turned back to the table, like, set his bag down, turned back to the table, waiting for the camera crew to get to <laughs> set up the shot, and then he starts, like, lighting into the kid about it. <laughs> like, I know that I've got better than King High, and he did the traditional, like, film. Oh, dear. You know, so it's like, obviously, you know, what you're seeing is kind of like reality TV for some of these guys.